Hello everyone, this is Warrior Dan, and today we are talking about YouTube. Now, YouTube has been going through a lot of changes lately. As I'm sure you know if you've been looking at the news lately in regards to YouTube, YouTube has been having a lot of issues with advertisers pulling out of the site. Many advertising firms are looking to pull away from Google altogether and stop supporting YouTube. Why? Because in their mind, a lot of edgy and controversial content is coming onto the platform, and many advertisers don't like the idea of their ads being placed alongside hate speech and other derogatory content. Now YouTube is in a bit of a pickle because a lot of their income comes from advertisers. YouTube AdSense is the main way for both YouTubers and YouTube as a whole to earn money on a regular basis. If YouTube cannot get advertisers onto the platform and continue supporting the platform, YouTubers will stop getting high paying ads and you'll see many of your favorite YouTubers simply go away. They'll start picking up other jobs or move to other platforms that can better support them. Many powerful content creators are already talking about leaving the platform. I know Rich from Review Tech USA is already talking about it as a possibility, as a what-if scenario, I don't think he's sincerely thinking about going yet. And also Ethan from H3H3 Productions, who, if you don't know, is a very well-known vlogger and he does a lot of good high-quality videos. He's been having a lot of issues with YouTube lately and this seems to be the final straw for him. I don't know if it will be or not, but his whole income is based entirely around YouTube and many of the top YouTubers, this is their job. This is their main source of income. So if it's all gone, they have to completely stop producing content. They don't have a means of supporting themselves. Either they ask people for money, like via Patreon or other supporting sites, or they simply go the way of the wind. But what if there is another opportunity? What if there is a way to address a lot of YouTube's problems, such as terrorist content or other vulgar content on the platform, get rid of all that, while at the same time preserving some of the higher quality stuff, and making sure advertisers feel safe enough on the platform to continue putting out their high paying ads on YouTube, allowing creators to continue earning an income from their content. So how do we do this? We completely reinvent how YouTube's partnership program works. Currently anyone with a YouTube account, even if you have zero subscribers, can sign up for YouTube AdSense. There's almost no base requirements in order to join, you just need to verify your account and you are good to go. What I would do is completely alter the system so that any YouTuber looking to monetize their content must first meet a number of base requirements, which would be visible to them at any time under their channel's monetization settings page. These requirements would be having at least 500 subscribers, a minimum of 10,000 views in the last 30 days, a decent level of community engagement, likes, comments, shares, that kind of thing. And finally, they must first pass a YouTube course training creators on YouTube's community guidelines as well as copyright management. You have to be a responsible creator, and I think YouTube has an obligation to enforce that upon creators, make sure their creators have as much information at their disposal as possible, make sure that only the informed creators get access to monet monetization. If you meet the requirements above, you would then click the blue button and YouTube would then have 5-10 to 10 days to review your channel for monetization access and either approve it or deny it. If YouTube chooses to decline you, a YouTube representative must manually respond to the request and explain to the user in clear guidelines why their channel was declined. If your channel was declined for monetization, you must wait 30 days before attempting to apply again. In addition to gaining the ability to monetize your video, you also get these benefits as a YouTube partner. Advanced moderation controls, appoint moderators on your channel to moderate comments, something I don't think the average YouTube user needs access to, so reserving it only for active content creators I think is a good thing. Custom emotes for YouTube live streams, upload up to 20 custom chat emotes for YouTube live streams, all uploaded custom chat emotes will first be sent to YouTube for manual approval, and YouTube will have 5-10 to 10 days to approve or deny your emotes, and if they approve it, they will be automatically added to all future live streams, and if they deny it, then you will not have access to them. You will have to wait 7 days before applying again with new emotes. Also for live streamers, you will get access to a donate button, a visible red donate button below the live stream window. Streamers will be able to grant donators exclusive access to specific emotes and other cosmetic features, such as a in-chat title, like donator. If YouTube offered this, I could see many Twitch streamers swapping out Twits in favor of YouTube. For the larger content creators, I would introduce a second program, one that I would call YouTube Insider. The YouTube Insider program would require that you have an active subscriber base, roughly at least 10,000 subscribers, a minimum of at least 100,000 views in the last 30 days, strong community engagement, at least 10% of your subscriber base is actively commentating, and at least a 10% average view duration rate. Some of the benefits you would receive as a YouTube Insider, prioritized copyright support, 
In the case that you ever get a copyright strike or, or a copyright claim or a trademark claim, YouTube will have your back and have a dedicated support agent specifically assigned to channels like yours. A YouTube representative will have to respond to the request within 72 hours, no longer. Also, YouTube will supply supplemental advertising. In the case where your monetized video does not have an advertisement to display, YouTube will supply a low paying advertisement to help offset the loss. These advertisements would consist of YouTube Red commercials, or what I like to call YouTube Spotlights, where they produce 30 second or 60 second promotional reels showing some of their top content creators. YouTube in essence would invest thousands of dollars in promoting some of its top creators that it wants to support. This would allow some of the top YouTubers to continue getting some exposure while at the same time giving back to many other creators by allowing many of their videos to be monetized when otherwise they would not be. Also, YouTube insiders would get early access to prototype YouTube features, along with the ability to give direct feedback to the YouTube technical support team. YouTube needs more transparency, needs to work with its top creators and ultimately all of its creators to try and help improve the platform. But the problem is there's way too many people on YouTube for YouTube to manually be in touch with every single person. But if YouTube had a working relationship with at least the top 10% creators, people over 100,000 subscribers, people that have proven to put effort into succeeding on YouTube, I would trust those kinds of channels to help guide YouTube in the right direction moving forward. But what do you think of my ideas? Do you think YouTube is fine as is? Or do you think that my ideas do have some merit to them? Do you think that we are in need of a changeover to save YouTube from getting worse? Or do you think ultimately this will all work out? I'm curious to hear your opinions. Post them down in the comments below. I'll check them out. Have an awesome night. This is Warrior Dan signing out. Peace out. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out and have an awesome night.